What is known of the history of Aruba's first inhabitants dates back to 1000 AD. Ancient fragments of the earliest known settlements, the Caquietios Indians from the Arawak tribe, are found painted on caves found at Fontaine and Ayo, and pottery remnants can still be viewed at the Museum of Archaeology. In the 1400s and 1500s, adventurers traveled throughout the Caribbean in search of wealth and treasures. According to legend, one of these treasure islands was named Oro Ruba, which means red gold. Now known as Aruba, a colorful history of pirates and gold prospecting has shaped the island's history. Today, remnants of this history can still be visited. On the northern coast, midway down the island, lie the abandoned gold mines of Bushiribana that were the center of Aruba's gold rush during the 19th century. In 1824, gold was finally discovered in Aruba, and eventually the industry produced more than three million pounds of gold. In 1636, near the culmination of the 80 years war between Spain and Holland, the Dutch took possession of Aruba, and although Aruba continues to exist within the Kingdom of the Netherlands, it functions independently. Oil became the next major economic force for the island. Today, tourism has become the number one source of income. The harbor in the capital city of Aranjestad is ideal for modern cruise ships, and the recently expanded airport is one of the largest and most modern in the Caribbean. Public transportation is reliable and inexpensive. Taxis and modern tour coaches shuttle the passengers between the airport and hotel properties. Numerous car and jeep rental companies are located right in front of the airport. The main roads are modern, paved and well maintained. The communication systems are state of the art and you can use your own cell phone or rent them. Internet cafes and wireless access hotspots are found in several restaurants and hotels throughout the island. Aruba's economy is booming. It's so popular with tourists that many have decided to purchase timeshare properties as an investment or as a place where they can take an extended vacation year after year. It's quite common to hear comments from people that have visited Aruba that its greatest asset is its people. They have found Aruba to be a very safe, stable and friendly Dutch flavored island governed by leaders that provide a high standard of living, health services and employment. The island is equipped with all the modern facilities that the tourist has grown accustomed to having at home. The people are well educated, often speak several languages and are generally considered to be very happy. The island's motto is one happy island.